Thanks, Emma. Hi, everyone. Okay. Um, so I think it's my word. Uh, it's worth saying that I wasn't going to talk about this first. I was going to talk about how much I hate filters. Uh, but then I realized I don't have a dashboard without a filter. So I thought, well, maybe you don't hate filters that much. Uh, it's just that sometimes it gets frustrating when you want to achieve a goal with a filter and it takes so much time to find a solution. So I thought I might focus on a bit, um, on a bit of a different topic and try to walk you through some tips and tricks that I wish I had known before. Um, the aim of the talk is not really to do a step-by-step -step how to or a step-by-step -step tutorial, but I am aiming to do a bit more of an overview of some um, possibilities with filters. So excuse me if I go a bit fast sometimes, but I just want you to like get the tip or trick and then you can easily like find it online or get the slides and use it for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna focus on three goals when using filters. And they are gonna be make the filter right so that it shows correct data and relevant for the user, to make it nice so that it's more user friendly, and to make it bright. So there are a lot of like smart things that you can do with filters, and I'm gonna try to show you a little tip that I use a lot. Okay, so the aim for this is, as I said, that you get something home, like a little tip, trick, something that you didn't know before, or maybe that you know that you learn something new about the world's billionaires, which takes me into the data I'm gonna use for this. So I took this data from Forbes, and it contains the world billionaires from 2014 to 2017. So let's have a play. Who knows who is the richest person in the world? Well, yeah, that wasn't hard. Uh, who knows how many billions his fortune is worth? Any guesses? 60 how much? Hmm, close. <laughs> so it's 60, uh, it's 86. Um, so, well, there you go. You all learned something new, so I'm happy now. Uh, let's go into filters. So as you see, I have a um, quite simple dashboard with uh, a phrase and a top 10 list on the right. And the only thing I wanna do is add a country filter. That's my aim for this talk. So let's start and try to make that filter right. So let's have a little video that I'm gonna walk you through on how I make it right. So, okay, I included the country filter in the view and I applied to all the seats on the dashboard, right? Thank you. Okay, so, but when I start playing with it, I see that there is something weird. So if I click Algeria, for example, there is no billionaire coming up. If I go to Spain, there is only one, Amante Ortega. Uh, but there are 25, what's going on? So if we go to the seed, we can solve this by making this filter a context filter. In that way, the country filter is gonna be processed before the top 10 list and everything is gonna be fine. Um, okay, I said everything is gonna be fine, but if we go to 2014 and we select Slovakia, for example, we get no data and that doesn't make a lot of sense. So as you see, if you select only relevant values, you won't be able to select something that doesn't show up any data on the dashboard, which is not really like user friendly. So that was the first um, step, so making it right for the user. The second one is making it nice. So I don't really like default filters, and so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I already have a seat, a very simple one, with a list of countries, okay? I'm gonna drop that into the view and get rid of the title. And then I'm gonna use as a filter for the whole uh, dashboard. It happens the same as before, so we need to make it again a context filter, but I've done that already. And that's like my final result with a bit of formatting. Okay, so we can go a bit farther and use shapes. So you just need to make the mark shape and drop country into your shape. And you can use any shapes that you want. You only need to store it in my Tableau repository shapes folder, and then you, you're able to use any images that you like. And we'll go for the last one, so how to make it bright. So this is a little trick that I use a lot, but I think it's nice. So as you see, there is something not right, like the world, it says the world all the time, regardless of what country I choose. So I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna drop the same seed that we had before, and this time I'm gonna make it float so that it goes on top of the in the world phrase. Once I have it there, I'm gonna get rid of the filter sorry, of the title, <laughs> and I'm gonna add an action filter. 
So the action filter needs to work this way. So whenever I select the seed countries, it needs to apply to the seed name and exclude all the values when nothing is selected. In this way, my seed is gonna appear and disappear all the time. So obviously it needs a bit of formatting, but I've done that as well, and that's how the end dashboard looks like. So summing up, we've made the filters right, we've made them nice and bright using context filters, only relevant values filters, uh, using a seed as a filter, using icons, and at the end we used an action filter to show and hide um, a seed on the dashboard. So I hope that you all got some little tip from this, and thank you very much. <laughs>